Hi, I'm Cromwell Salvatera. And I'm Nick Chia. Welcome to the Marketing Summarize video series, where you can get the best insights into all things marketing, business, and having a good working life. Now, I juggle between multiple roles and projects simultaneously. It can be really overwhelming at times. Yep. And there's just not enough hours in a day to complete all the tasks. <laughs> we all get 24. We all get 24. Yep. I'm sure that sounds familiar to a lot of people. Yeah. So that's yeah. why today's topic is about how to work better by creating a schedule. Yes, absolutely. Um, a calendar, a diary, um, a secretary to some people, or a personal assistant. Um, all of them are, are the same as far as organization, if you look at it from this point of view, right? Um, do you want to start this one, Nick? How, how do you organize your day, mate? Well, I was thinking, if you have too much to do, there really are three possibilities about how you can handle it. Um, number one, you can say no to extra work, <laughs> right? You can always say no. Yeah. Um, mm. Second one, which is a pretty good one, is learn to delegate. Yeah. And the third one really is what this topic is about, schedule and, and, and plan your day so that yep. you, know, you can get the important things done. Now, um, an old manager of mine introduced me to what was known as Parkinson's Law. I have it written yeah. down in front of me. You've heard of that, right? Yeah, I love that uh, It's word yeah. work expands so mm -hmm. as to fill the time available for its completion. So somehow the, the, the task you have to do that day always fills up all the time you have that day mm. if you don't schedule and plan the, the yeah. day. So just to, to, just to, to explain that in... in um, in, uh, I guess, layman's term, uh, the Parkinson's law means if you got given three hours for a project, it will take you three hours to finish it. That's if right. You got, if you got given three weeks to finish a project, it will take you three weeks to finish the project. Even if it should have taken less. <laughs> yes, absolutely, right? Yeah. So, yeah. I, so, I, yeah, go ahead. Planning really is the only way to overcome it. If yeah. you break down the, the time and the hours that you have and then you allocate a certain time slot for that. So even though you were given that much, but you know it really only needs that much and you slot that into your calendar and then you slot other things into your calendar, then you would have had all these things accomplished instead of that one single task dragging mm. out the field the whole day. Yeah, I totally agree with you on that one. Um, especially like accomplishing in one go. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, that, that could be a lot of, um, especially if you work in a team, right? Where yep. your work depends on someone else, for example. Yes. How, how, do you, how would you schedule that Nick, um, or organize that? Nick? Um, if you're working in a team, you could use something like teamwork. Um, yep. any, any of those, um, what's the I think word I'm looking Trello for? Trello is popular as well. And Asana is uh, popular as well. I think the, um, for small to medium businesses, uh, there's um, um, a software called monday.com. That's also popular. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, the classic Google calendar. <laughs> that could help Even it. a simple tool like that would work. Absolutely. Um, I, I use Google calendar and I, you're or this Nick, and um, in my previous jobs as well, I keep on saying, if it's not on my calendar, it doesn't exist. Mm. Yeah, so lots of different tools work. And um, really, the other thing that scheduling overcomes is procrastination. Right? <laughs> if you have put it into your diary and you're disciplined and you yep. intend to finish everything or, or allocate those hours and actually work those hours on those projects you have know, pre-scheduled, mm -hmm. procrastination is banished. Absolutely. I agree. I agree. And you got to follow your schedule, right? Yes. Um, not only like, like, to your to your point there if you schedule it you know you, you kind of beat procrastination that way and when the task is finished finish it as in that time slot you you allocated if it says up to 5 30 only that's it boom and then move on to your next one mm -hmm. right um, this happens a lot for example meetings people go oh the meeting well, took longer you know what i mean um was it steve jobs or were um if you can't explain it in 20 minutes, go back and uh, summarize it again. <laughs> who said that? Something along those lines? Yeah, yeah, it sounded like that. I can't remember who said that, but yeah. it's a good point. Yeah, it's a good point. Um, because 
for me, for example, uh, meetings. Let's 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 pick on me meetings, right? On the subject of meetings. For me, um, the, the the purpose of a meeting is for a group of people to decide on something, on some action, right? Mm -hmm. um, I've been in meetings where, man, you could have written that in an email, <laughs> you know, and just send it to me, and I'll read it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I avoid that. Mm -hmm. Avoid that. And, and, and um, the Tony Robbins meeting, I, I follow that um, pattern, which is schedule a meeting, obviously, mm -hmm. turn up, uh, put the, the, the points that we need to consider, trash it, argue, ideally not argue, just, just talk about it, mm -hmm. and then decide, mm -hmm. okay? And you can't leave the meeting without doing an action that creates that momentum towards whatever you decided on. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, and in my meetings that I attended, unless it's like a, a presentation or a pitch, well, sometimes even a pitch, right? I'll go, when's the next time we can talk about this again? Like we, you, you even organize that, right? Yep. But my point is you decide and you make your first action on the meeting itself. Mm -hmm. Does it make sense? You know yes. I mean? Yeah. Yes. And even asking when is the next time we're going to meet again, you've essentially scheduled. Correct. He's next, scheduled uh, again. Yeah. Um, yeah. Actually, you probably heard that. I say schedule. How do you call it? Schedule. Oh, there you and go. Uh, <laughs> I, I've always noticed that you've pronounced it uh, scheduled. Yeah. So I actually went to Google it the other day. <laughs> You're using the American pronunciation. American version. Yeah. 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 Scheduled is British. Yeah, right. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, probably, I mean, in case you guys want to know, I was born in the Philippines, so I still got the American twang here and there. It will turn up, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah, I say schedule. I also say kilometers. I don't say kilometers. Mm, so. I say kilometers. Oh, they, I yeah. don't know, man. Anyway, we're getting sidestepped. <laughs> we'll do another video on that one. <laughs> yeah, we'll do another video on that one. Um, okay. Another thing that is about schedules and, and, and organizing yourself that... It's not really on the professional side. I, I, I look at it from a personal side. And I used to, as probably as early as last year, right? I used to schedule my day where um, it, it looks toxic. And what do I mean by that? I start my meetings from 8.30 and I'm finished at, until 6.30, nonstop, right? Mm -hmm. I'll probably... Um, I'll even put, um, I won't even put lunch there, for example. Mm -hmm. So I don't have time to eat. And, and my rationale for that one is I got so much work to do. I have to do it this way. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously that wasn't healthy because I stopped having lunch. Um, and also because I wasn't having lunch, my next few meetings was, getting affected by the mood of a person that hasn't eaten, mm. which is not one, you're no longer 100%. You're yeah. probably maybe at 80%. Right? Your blood sugar runs low, yeah. your brain gets yeah. fuzzy. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And if you are a manager or a leader or, you know, or you're doing some task where you're a consultant, where your concentration, your focus depends on that, mm -hmm. well, you're no longer 100% of what's your, uh, your capability would be. Yes. Right? You're probably on 80 Yes. And we don't want, you don't want 80, you want 100%. Yep. So schedule lunch into the, uh, the yes, calendar as well. Absolutely. Even, and, even, <laughs> yeah, go ahead. And, and in doing so, you might have to move other things around a bit, but you'll yeah. find that you'll probably still fit everything in the day. Absolutely. I totally agree with that one. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, another thing that I schedule and I schedule it at 11 a.m. and at 3.30 p.m. And that is a five minute stretch. You know, I'll, I'll, it will buzz. Um, obviously, I'm, I won't do this when I'm in a meeting. Otherwise, it's just weird. You know what I mean? Um, but I would literally get up and move my neck. Mm -hmm. Make sure, you know, you know this, this, this middle-aged man is still all good. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting one. I used to use an app that would make, stop me to, you know, pause me to do some stretches. Um, I haven't used that for a while. And as a result of it, it's not in my diary. As a mm. result of it, I often forget to stretch. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so that's a good point. Yeah. 
So I schedule in lunch. I, mm -hmm. I also schedule um, um, stretches, okay? And my th the third point I want to put in this one is because the, the point of these videos is how to work better or have a better working life, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. um, I used to have schedules that is just chocolate blocks, right? Mm -hmm. you, sometimes I would need an, a week, like, oh, people ask me, when are you free? And I look at my schedule. Uh, let's try two weeks. You know what I mean? That's, that's not good. Like I yep. stopped doing that. I stopped doing that by the way. Mm -hmm. Now I run a schedule where I would say, okay, if I want to have a good day, how does that look like? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And if I want to feel like I'm having a productive day, how does that look like? Right? So what makes it a good day? What makes it a productive day? Because mm -hmm. Your working day, I don't know about you, but, you know, uh, but my working day it consists of most of my life, right? Um, mm. uh, as an adult anyway, moving between now and, and probably in the next 20, 30 years, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I want to enjoy every single one of those days, if possible. Yeah. Uh, yes, you will have some, some cracker of a day where oh, you just want it to end. Yeah, you can't avoid that. But what you can do is schedule it so you can have a good day mm -hmm. as much as possible. Yes, you know I mean? because one of the benefits of scheduling it. is to actually reduce stress. Yes. Because yes. if you don't schedule, you are going to feel overwhelmed very quickly yes. when you have a lot of tasks in your hands. But if yes. you have laid out the week and you can see where you can fit everything in, mm -hmm. even though you are very busy doing each task, you know you are going to meet your deadlines because you have allocated time to everything and it's all mapped out. So you should reduce stress. So that, that example you just gave just now further reduces stress. Yeah. And after you've allocated your, the time to it, like going back to Parkinson's law, and you still didn't manage to finish it, well, uh, you need to reconsider now. Okay, did I um, check my phone whilst I was doing it too many times? Mm -hmm. I, I've seen that a lot. And, not only in myself, but on other people. The people, I don't have time. It's like, yeah, but you check your phone 50 million times. You know what I mean? Of course you won't have time, right? Mm -hmm. uh, or is it because the, the task at hand is far too big for the time allocated for it? You know what I mean? Now you, you would know now if you, if you, um, if you, you stuck with that time. And I'll, I'll give you another word here that I think is misinterpreted a lot. If one is disciplined to stick on their time, it doesn't mean like discipline, like the school teacher and a, and a school kid, discipline, discipline, discipline. No, no, no. Discipline is literally the ability to control yourself, yeah, mm -hmm. to, to do what you need to do, right? Mm -hmm. um, so when you say, okay, this time of whatever I'm doing now, right, is the only thing I'm going to do, right? And, and I don't know about you, I get, I get into it. You know, I get into yeah. that zone, and then before you know it, boom, my alarm goes, oh, I, I got to do my, my next task. And, and that's when I'm most productive as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I get completely lost in my work as well once I'm, I'm completely in it. Um, there is one thing I did notice that made a big difference to me um, when I yep. started scheduling. And that is, if you don't have a plan for each day, you tend to do what you think is quick and simple to finish first. Yeah. I think most of us have a tendency to quickly do those things and get them out of the way so that we can focus on the big task. Yeah. And I find yeah. a lot of times, by the time I've gotten rid of every little thing, I'm not left with enough time to complete yeah. the big task. <laughs> yeah. So scheduling makes sure that you prioritize and that the key tasks for each day are completed. Absolutely. Oh, another one I, I just remembered. Um, I know my, my, my cycle during the day. Mm -hmm. Like I've been alive for long enough to know myself, right? So I would allocate the morning to just after lunch for decision-making, mm -hmm. for, uh, uh, for those tasks that needs extra cerebral power. That's when I'm the most awake, the most alert, for example. And then in the, in the afternoon, Right. If I have to do my admin, not that admin requires less brain power. Of course it does, but it, it you know, um, it's, it's more automatic for me. 
know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't need to make uh, hard decisions or big decisions in the afternoon. Sometimes mm-hmm. you do, yeah? yeah. But if you schedule the whole thing, yeah, where, okay, I know my peak, peak times are here, where I got all my brain, brain cells or brain power there, mm-hmm. and then I will allocate these ones for, um, maybe in, in my terms, for example, that's when I start building campaigns where all my templates are ready, I'm just putting it together. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Rather than yeah. I, need to, I need to write a copy, I need to write this headline, I need to make phone calls to make decisions. You know what yeah. I mean? So I yeah. usually put, that, put it that way. So basically, you know yourself well, you know when you are at your optimum, so yeah. you do the things that, that suits uh, however you, you know Absolutely. you will do best in, in that time. Yeah, it's a good yeah. point. And you got to know yourself. Mm. Yeah. And, and pe- when people go, I don't know myself, I, I always ask them, why don't you? No, seriously, why don't you? Mm. You know what I mean? Like, if there's one person that would know yourself, it would be you, mm. right? Maybe your mom would know you. <laughs> just have to start observing your patterns and just pay yeah. more attention to what you're doing. Yeah, and, and accept it. And, you know, um, I mean, this is now going to really personal development now. Um, the only person I compare to myself is myself. Mm-hmm. Okay? Um, I'll give you an example. Was I better yesterday in comparison to yesterday? That's what I'm trying to say. Am I better today than yesterday? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Of course, I'm better than I was 10 years ago, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But, but am I better than yesterday? You know? mm-hmm. um, it's, it's better to compare myself to, to, to what I was yesterday than compare yourself with your colleague, for example, which is toxic, right? So uh, if, I, if you want to get better, well, you got a schedule. And if you need to compare yourself to someone, compare it to yourself, your productivity yesterday. You sounded like you caught it from Kingsman. Yeah. <laughs> and did you, you recall know, the uh, line from Kingsman? Where did I get it from? I think I got it from martial arts. Ah, okay. Yeah, there was a yeah, line yeah. in Kingsman. I'm not even sure whether oh, it's a line where he said, um, the true yeah. measure of a man is not how much better he is than his fellow men, but how much better he is than his former self. I like it. Yeah. I like it. I wish I got it from there from, no, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I got it from martial arts, from Aikido specifically, um, because I, f- I was comparing myself to everybody. Mm-hmm. And my sensei goes, from, don't worry about it. You were better than yourself yesterday. I went, oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's very and, and, good. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's really good. Anyway, I think, what, what's, I think we, need to, we can wrap this up now. Yeah, absolutely. I Once think again? the only thing, the only thing I want to add is uh, to before we finish is that, you know how you said don't don't fill up every block in that calendar. Yeah. Because we always should allow some extra time for contingency. Some things are going to go over time. You might get an unexpected phone call that you have to take while you're in the middle of another task. So leave a little bit of room in your calendar for yes. things to overflow, and then yes. you are going to complete the day less stressed, and all the critical things have been completed. Here, here. And make sure you plan to have a good day. That's right. Thank you very much for watching us. Yep. And thank Okay, start again. Okay, go. Thank you very much for watching us. I'm Nick Chia. And I'm Cromwell Salvatera. And have a great day. And remember to subscribe to us. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day.